Hello there, this is Chief Brody Rules, aka Frank Ireland, coming at you with a new unboxing video. For this one, there's gonna be a, like, a little bit more information than usual because my friend Phil was like, I wish unboxing videos had like information, you know, about the toys and stuff. Like, you know, I wish Ben were here. I only wish Ben were here. And I was like, oh my gosh, Phil. I feel like uh, unboxing videos are mostly to be like, hey, look, this is how the figure works. But Phil wants a history lesson, so we're gonna give him a mini history lesson. Why? <laughs> Hasbro reconstructures the corporation into two groups, the Hasbro Toy Group and the Hasbro Games Group, positioning the corporation to enhance responsiveness to the consumer demand. Lucas denounces the prequel trilogy. All I need is an idea. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Star Wars Power of the Force toy line is introduced, not to be confused with the vintage Power of the Force toy line that came out in 1985. It had been 12 years since the release of Return of the Jedi and 10 years since Star Wars toys had been on store shelves. The new toy line featured brand new packaging and improved sculpts. The first wave included Luke, Han, Chewbacca, Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, R2-D2, Obi-Wan Kenobi, C-3PO, and Leia. The figures were bulked up to compete with Toy Biz, who had been hugely successful with their superhero toy line. They also took inspiration from the Tom Young posters from the original 1977 film. The packaging had a glow of a red lightsaber and a simple image of the character. The back of the package had a bio and images of the other toys in the toy line. Princess Leia and C-3PO became quickly valuable and hard to find. The figures were packed one per case and quickly taken by secondhand dealers. This caused Toys R Us to play signs one Star Wars toy per customer to discourage scalpers from purchasing the figures. Due to numerous complaints from parents, Toys R Us removed the signs. The figures were met with mixed reviews. Some thought they were great, some thought that the muscular sculpts were a misstep. There were also complaints that the lightsabers were too long. This was quickly corrected and is now seen as a collector item. Long sabers, short sabers. Wave 2 also appeared in 1995. Boba Fett, Lando, and X-Wing fighter Luke. An exclusive Stormtrooper Han Solo is available through a serial giveaway. The original Star Wars movies are released on VHS. Star Wars on video. Buy it before it's gone forever. A child beauty queen found murdered in her Colorado home. The Star Wars Power of the Force toy line continues to grow, with the introduction of products tied to the novel Shadows of the Empire. Kenner branded Star Wars toys remain the number one selling toy for almost 12 months straight. Wave 3, 4, 5, and 6 are released. Many characters released in the original toy line under film production nicknames were now released under the names of their later expanded universe sources. For example, Hammerhead became Mama Nadon. The world has lost uh, Princess Diana at age 36. Star Wars toys celebrate 20 years with the release of the Special Edition Trilogy. More than 60 new Star Wars figures and vehicles are released into the market, including figures based on newly created or revised footage from the Special Edition films. The packaging design changed from a red lightsaber to a green lightsaber and included a hologram sticker. By this time, the figures start to become more movie accurate and ditch the muscular look. We are introduced to our first figures of Tarkin and Slave Leia. Waves 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 are released. In October, it is announced that Hasbro has earned expanded rights from Lucasfilm to produce a wide range of products of toys and games for the next three Star Wars films. A Cantina band member and a robot spider from Return of the Jedi are exclusive figures for 1997. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Throughout this time, figures are repackaged in many different ways. New vehicles are released, new playsets, carrying cases, new accessories, free frame slides that can be viewed through binoculars modeled after Luke's and A New Hope. He's a peeping Tom. A binder was also available through a mail-away giveaway. Towards the end of 1998, the slides changed to flashback cards. The flashback cards featured a picture of a character from the classic trilogy. When a tab is pulled, a picture of a similar character from the prequels is shown. Tons of first appearance toys are released, including Lax Sivrak and Mon Mothma. Exclusive figures of 1998 featured Cabe and Motherfuck, Oola, Oola, and the sneak peek figure of Mace Windu. The lights dim. The projector rolled, and... It was amazing. It was everything I thought it was going to be and more. Phantom Menace takes the spotlight. I think I deserve a public apology from George Lucas. Power of the Force releases waves 22, 23, and 24. They are more movie accurate with new contact technology that spews out fan favorite dialogue. On Solo, Captain William Falcon. Great kid! Don't get cocky! Too close to call. Ah! <laughs> The Power of the Force toy line ends in 2000 with Wave 25, Princess Leia and two newcomers, Admiral Mahdi, and an exclusive Wooler figure. Wooler was never made before or since. So yes, there's like a lot of information out there about these toys. Here's the figures I got, but I got it for um, the Leia because she has the Bane mask. 
No one cared who I was until I put on the mask. Most of the figures I got today were from the end of the toy line when they started, you know, becoming comfortable with the toy line. So this one was in 97. So that's when the movies were like re-released. Uh, this came out in 98. So they were kind of going towards Phantom Menace because this was the toy line for 98, I believe, right? Yep. 98, and they said, coming soon, Phantom Menace toys. Toys are us. You can find the complete collection from Star Wars Episode One. It's a selection of epic proportions. As you can see here, they became more adventurous with the toy line is because they started making um, more obscure things like this one, Luke Skywalker from the deleted scene when he's like uh, telling his friends like, hey, look, there's people fighting in space. And they're like, hey, you nerd. Big honk and nothing. I doubt if the Emperor would even fight to save the system. You watch it. Don't worry about it for me. These ones I want to get too because this one was one of the first unmasked Vaders, as you can see there. That's really cool, and I want to get that one because the reason why I started collecting these in the first place is because I've been trying to collect, you know, some new modern Star Wars toys. I have some figures here. I have a battle training ray, and um, she looks decent. She looks much better than she did for Force Wickens. I also have uh, the six inch ray here uh this is from uh, the last jedi uh the last jedi is totally better than the force awakens toy line um i thought this one looked pretty badass and because that oh my god that whole scene when she fights with kylo ren join me go on honey take a chance amazing holy hell so i've been starting to collect them i even got this guy here dj dj drop a beat <laughs> also have this guy. I want to take pictures with my Kylo Ren and Rey and make it look like they're fighting these guys. So I've been trying to collect modern Star Wars, but modern Star Wars sucks, as you see here, where they don't move their elbows or the face sculpts are terrible. It's not a pretty picture. I don't like doing it. Because uh, for The Force Awakens, I didn't like any of the Rays as action figures. I thought they were god-awful. Like, really, they're just the worst. And I asked uh, my friends on Twitter, why are you collecting new Star Wars if you are at all? And I asked if they had Rey... Uh, my friend Kirk, he says he's waiting for Ray, but they haven't got like the face sculpt right. And I totally agree. And the reason why I agree is because I had to go get the sideshow collectible of uh, Ray, which is I think fantastic. Like the likeness is very striking. It's really realistic. I even got another one, but right now she's a custom. She's dressed like John McClane. Because old habits die hard. I'm working on a whole project for that. But yeah, new Star Wars kind of sucks. So I've been looking back at old Star Wars because they have a lot of cool figures that were like the first ofs for the toy line. For example, here, like the Blast Shield Luke. With the Blast Shield down. I can't even see. How am I supposed to fight? And they have like a Tarkin. I'm taking an awful risk, Vader. This had better work. They have um, the Wolfman. <laughs> even have the Aunt Beru, which I have right here, which is fantastic. And I know you guys have been waiting to see what the hell flashback photo means for episode one. I'm very curious myself. I'm something of a scientist myself. All about Star Wars in this video. So let's start with, uh... oh my God, what do we start with? All right, let's just start with Aunt Beru here. This is the first version of Aunt Beru as an action figure. And the reason why I got this is because A, it's Aunt Beru. B, it came with blue milk, and you know me about blue milk, how it's freaking like reference. And then C, I got this because I wanted to see what the hell is the flashback photo. So um, without further ado, let's do it. The flashback photo is Shmi Skywalker. And when I first saw this, when I got the figure, I'm like, wait a minute. Is this some sort of abandoned concept where Shmi Skywalker was supposed to be Aunt Beru? But no, it's just some BS about like, oh, Aunt Beru raised Luke and she knew that she had to give him away one day. And Shmi Skywalker is similar in that way. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of cheap. You're just a chicken. Chip, 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 chip. Let's tear the sucker open. By the way, all these toys online are kind of cheap or like the same price they were back in 98, 97. That's the reason I got a shit ton of these. But these characters, you know, it's based on characters you love and you're familiar with. And there's a little bit more joint movement here where, and she can like pivot at the waist, but you know, similar, but you know, it's fun because you're like, hey, that's Aunt Beru. You know, Luke's just not a farmer. He has too much of his father in him. You know, you got shit like that. And he comes with like crazy ass accessories like this. Like this comes with an accessory. Look, it's a freaking droid. And this one came with like a blaster. 
and you're paying 10 bucks for this. I paid like 10 bucks for this. I get a robot, I get blue milk, I get a flashback card, I get a uh, another pivot, and I get freaking Aunt Beru. You know, like the new Star Wars stuff is just kind of awful. It's not worth the price, it's not moving, it's not interesting, and it's disappointing. So I'm starting to go with new, um, old Star Wars, I should say. So that's what I've been doing. So this is more just unboxing here. You know. These are like the little missiles that come with them. Missiles. Oh, I better keep an eye on the blue milk. That's the whole reason why I got it. <laughs> That's awesome. You just like do that and all the figures come out. That's great. Okay, so what we have here is the scene when they're, um, we're not out of the woods yet. Come on, buddy. We're not out of this yet. Oh my god, it even has the screen. Yes! That's amazing. Alrighty, but anyway, like it gives you instructions here right on the bottom. It says assemble like it's shown. It doesn't <laughs> there's no rules, it's no one, two, or three. It's just like you see this picture, just do that. I love it. And um what they do is connect to the other one, which I also want to get. I want to get that Luke Skywalker so he can turn around and say, I got him! Great kid, don't get cocky. Oh my god, and I'm also considering getting this guy. Like, the price is a little high, but I'm considering it. The Han Solo with Jabba the Hutt. Just because it's the horrible CGI Jabba the Hutt. Solo! Jabba the Hutt, Solo! Solo! Right here, Jabba. I've been waiting for you. But I, <laughs> I want to get that. You think I had a choice? I've been looking at Falcons. <laughs> and the reason why I got this figure is because I want to get a Falcon, but... This will do for now because this is a lot of fun. Look at that. You go know, like dun 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 dun. That's so cool. And then like I think you just like like you press this button here and it'll shoot off the, the darts at one time. And another reason why I wanted to get this figure is because since he has like all the get up on with the headgear on and the gloves. In kid. Okay, stay sharp. But yeah, this is so freaking cool. Wow. You know, this is great. I love it. So that's all set up. So um, what's next is this guy here. So this is going to take a while. And the box will get ruined because I'm not going to keep the box. I don't really like keeping figures in the box unless it's like a sideshow collectible. You know, I don't really like leaving these guys out, you know, because there's so much detail and crap like that. So I'm just like, I don't want to leave it out, you know, but like these are so cool. Look at that. Oh, amazing. It's so cool. And the detail, of the clothing and shit like that. Oh. Anyway, back to this one. And the reason why I got this is because there's another sideshow collectible I want to get. So I've been trying to, like, try, it's like I want to get it, but it's like, oh, man, I, I got enough sideshow collectibles. And, like, I really like the figure, and it's beautiful and it's gorgeous. But let me try to, you know, feed the beast. Let me get this Leia with this Bane mask and meet myself halfway. It's like negotiating with myself. It's like, how about you get this one instead? It's cheaper. <laughs> you don't have to pay that much for it. And this one, you could at least carry around and like take pictures of it somewhere going like, oh, theatricality. Or, oh, we're going to go shuffles. But yeah, you know, I'm just trying to meet myself halfway, so... I don't have to get the sideshow collectible, which I probably will get anyway because I'm an idiot and I want the figure so bad. But yeah, it's going to take a while though to get that one because I got to save. Oh my god, you actually have to keep the base? Why would you want to keep the base? Oh, it's an actual like uh, diorama. See here, there's like a little slip where you can put a piece of cardboard there. Oops, was I supposed to collect it? Sorry, this is taking a while, guys. It'll all get cut out anyway, whatever. So you'll just see the end part where I open up the box and then... It's open! Oh my gosh, look at that. Movie magic. Um, So it took me a while. But all these guys were all, like, you know, tied in to the, the base. And they had this background here, which apparently you're supposed to save. Look at this! This is the actual base you're supposed to display it on. See, as you come, it comes with pegs here. So you put the figures there. Uh, there's no figures over here, which is kind of weird. But look at that. It comes with pegs, but, you know, it's full of holes, you know? Holy! Oh. We have the figures here. We have the Bane Han Solo here. I wanted to take off the mask, but, you know, I don't want to wreck it because it would be extremely painful. 
<laughs> and I put the blaster back in his hand. Look how huge it is. Look at that. Look at that. It's like, it's probably in scale with like a, a six inch figure. Oh my God, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Little man. But yeah, Mr. Man. Anyway, we have uh, Chewbacca here also with Bane mask. Oh my God, look at it. Oh, Hi, guys. I'm Chewbacca. Anyway, so we have this one here. The reason why I got this box, so I didn't have to get a sideshow collectible of it. I've been trying to not get the sideshow collectible, but I probably will at some point. But I wanted to get the Bane Leia. So you can see here, she has, like, filth on her, just like in the movie. And then you get to sit her down. Oh, she's got a little leather jacket on, too. Look at that. That's cool. She could sit down, and she could be like, um, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't watched uh, Empire Strikes Back in a very long time, so I don't, I can't really quote that one other than I know. But yeah, you have that here. They could all sit down, and basically simple designs. I like it. I like it. And of course, we have the the Minoc here, because yeah, this is sort of a toy review, so you had to see the Minoc. See that? You can stick on your screen. And last but not least, I set this up before uh, this episode's over. Um, funny story. I was like, I was putting these uh, missiles in. I'm like, how the hell are these going to shoot? These like, they don't even click in. See, like they're just very loose. I'm like, how the hell are you going to do anything with this? So there's like the little contraption here to shoot it. And like, they shoot really far and I've lost the piece. I got to go find it now. It went across the room. I got to look for it later. But <laughs> look, I just, hang on. Let's see if I can spin it. Oh my God. Yeah. See, there you go. It actually fires them, even though they're like they're super loose. But like that's that's really cool. <laughs> it actually works. And um, as you can see here, it's got some good pivot action. That's so cool. I like that. Um, also, I think I've already said it like two or three times in this video, but I really like that display of Han Solo or the look of him. It's really cool. I like the, the headgear and the gloves, and I'm a really huge fan of that. So, if you want to collect Star Wars toys just for the hell of it, and you want to have fun, and, you, like, the new toys kind of bother you, and you're like, eh, not really. So, if if you're feeling that, that for the new Star Wars toys, I would recommend going back and just taking a look at these old figures, because I think there's some heart here. I want to get into collecting Star Wars, because I haven't really been a huge fan these years, you know? But then, like, something in The Last Jedi, it just, like, it sparked me. It's like, yes, that's why I like Star Wars. So that's fun, you know? I want to get back into it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I enjoyed it. And, you know, the, the love of Star Wars is coming back into my heart. And I'm excited about that, you know? It's like, I like seeing Chewbacca here. I like seeing Han Solo here, Leia. You know, I like these characters, and they're coming back into my life. And I accept that. And that's really cool. And I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I hope there's been a little bit of history lesson in this video. I hope it hasn't all been just simple tricks and nonsense for you. We've had some fun times. Look, we have some blue milk here. It's a reference. A Jedi Knight! I go out and everyone gets delusions of grandeur. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I gotta go find the other missile of this thing. So yeah. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Have a good day, everybody.